I don't like this. I don't like this little thing here. So the big problem is I'm not getting the explorer quirk on. Uh, with this comp, that's super important. So what I need to do is de-stress Chopperino. Okay. I haven't even. I, but this this requires more fucking theory crafting, which I don't really want to do right now. I'd actually like to get into a dungeon, which is what am I going to bring on DD one? What did we bring last time on DD one? So that was decent. It was Highwayman. Highwayman Crusader, I assume. The stress healing. Oh, we didn't do stress healing last playthrough. Plague Doctor. But I'm missing a healer, so it's got to be a cultist. Beastator unyielding, Clotter, Beastator natural eye, tough. Clotter is great for uh, the trash mobs. Okay. Let's talk about Crusader, Grave Robber, Highwayman, Vessel, Grave Robber. Ooh, that's ballsy of me. Where the fuck are we bringing the Grave Robber? I guess DD3. Oh, if I bring Plague Doctor here, though, we don't have a Plague Doctor for uh, DD3. I like Plague Doctors here. But I kind of want a DD3 Plague Doctor. Our Hard Skin, Beast Hater, Eldritch Hater. I guess we're stressed, but we can beat stress in the first dungeon, right? First fight. Okay. I can bring four repeats, but I only have one. I only have one plague doctor, and he won't go back. But I have to do one of each too. I only have one plague doctor, Aqua, and they can't go twice. Stress. Stress and clutter. Seems so fucking good here. This is such a stress fight. Is there torchlight when I fight this boss? I can't remember. What does for science mean? It means take a risk so people can, uh. It means take a risk so you can get some information, but people actually tend to treat that a little differently. Alright. Torchlight versus the Shambler, even? Okay. God, I did not want to be designing DD stuff right now. look like this okay
nicer. Um, accuracy and crits. So we're going to camp with four, six. Probably going to end up with uh, Zealous Speech here. Alright, we should just do this now. Every time I bring a party, I should just train all their fucking camping skills. is amazing so we can go in with some stress we'll stress heal out of the first uh the first done the first fight here this is our more survivable elder tater for the stress beast tater for the stress and then hard skinned for surviving here we have no accuracy items on that unfortunately um let's take a look at their items again Okay, all of these characters can do position damage in every position, except the occultist who can't do position damage in position 4, but position 4 he can heal, so that should be fine. Um, we are looking for uh, stress healing, so speed is fairly important. Can I get speed without stress? I don't think so. And I need stun percentage on the crusader. And I need accuracy, of course. Is there a minus stun on this? No. Oh, it's a good point about a uh, swift cloak. So many good things here. Minus bleed resist is pretty bad though. Alright, so 140 bleed, 90, 155 bleed. What is the actual bleed percentage of these guys? Man, it seems so, it feels so counterintuitive to have. Uh... I don't really want to do Darkest Dungeon right now. I'm not in the mindset at all for it. Uh, let's take a look. They're called Cultist Priest. Alright, Cultist Priest, what do we got? Bleed percentage of 150 bleed. What do we actually come across here? 155. That's very nice. No finger bleeds. Okay. 140 is pretty close. Fortunately, we are going to get quite a lot here. I have an Ancestor's Handkerchief. So I can blink bring that if I want to. And I am considering it. stuns yeah maybe you need accuracy too though he needs a natural swing elder slayer i guess he's got 15 accuracy versus the bulk of this i don't have a paralyzer's crest here which i'd actually take could run that some stun resist as well which is kind of nice So these guys are all running bleed resist. I don't know if that's worthwhile or not. I have Eldritch Hater here, but no accuracy. What's my other? 
Uh, other one. Hard noggin's quick. No, there's no accuracy on that either. Hard noggin's nice though. Do we need accuracy here with no damage? Feels a little bit bad. Don't like the minus eight dodge on him either. I don't actually like dodge very much, but uh. Every little bit helps here, right? We're gonna be running no Elder Slayer stuff. I mean, I suppose Throne Dagger. We have Eldritch Hater, Beast Hater, so we got damage. We need accuracy, we have Manslayer. I don't think there's any human in here. I think they're Eldritch Beasts, and there's the only human are the Brawlers. I mean, that's useful still, but what else are we bringing? <laughs> I want to bring accuracy. I mean, the fucking priests are at 23.7, 24 dodge. 24 dodge, so 90 and 24 is 114, so I need 114 accuracy. This is 110. I think I can deal with that. Okay. So I can probably just run damage here. Elder Slayer damage seems fine. Beast Slayer damage should be fine. I don't really want more speed on this guy at speed 10. I wouldn't mind stress resist. We run 4 speed and 75% debuff resist. That's no stress on it. Kind of like that more. Okay. It's good. Uh, what am I doing about this guy? He needs accuracy. When are we coming out across with Duelist Advance? 105. What did I say I needed? 114. So we're starting to be 10% missed there, which is really kind of annoying. This isn't the right skills anyways. Alright, uh, we're going to want to open Vein. What's the bleed resist on... Uh, the what's he called? Shuffling horror. Shuffling horror bleed resist is eighty. No, sixty-seven point five. I guess he's only got one action, anyways, right? Is it one or two? Two. I think I need some accuracy here and I don't want stress and the only way to get both melee and uh, ranged accuracy without stress is focus ring I could get melee accuracy somewhere in here I think, or range, it's, it might be range it might be the stupid ancestor's pistol this is a lot, this is very little stress going into here I mean I guess we have recovery fights everywhere so it shouldn't be too much of a big deal I like the max HP here. She's got accuracy already and damage. We just want more damage there. Probably Elder Slayer. Nerfs her dodge again, but so. Yeah, I guess I could run Bleed Charm here instead. Bleed Amulet instead of Ancestor's Handkerchief. I don't need the disease resist here. I would lose some of that bleed resist, which would suck, but it would give me bleed skill chance, which would let me use Wicked Slice on uh, the dude, which would be nice. I like this, though. If you get bleed resist on everybody, it should be fucking hot. So many more items to play with, I like it. Did all these level fives, you have all these weird items we'd never have. Like, who would ever have this normally? 
We'd never have that normally. We go damage without stress. Elder Slayer. Accuracy. Probably a heal item here, right? Fuck, running the head though. So much plus plus stress. I think we're doing it anyways though. Is the Crusader actually a stunner in this position? I suppose the alternate would be. I mean, round one, eight versus seven, about 50-50. What's bleed resist from the trash with the bleed amulet and bleed percentage on the boss? Uh, does the boss bleed? Boss has 150% chance to bleed with lacerate. Uh, the, the trash also has 150% chance to bleed with the finger. Which means that um, right now with the with this we're at 10% chance to be bled. If we drop 30% we're going to be at a 40% uh, chance to be bled by both the trash and the boss. Feels like quite a lot. Signet ring for protection to dodge in the highwayman. I mean, it gives me the accuracy in the dodge back, but it gives me 10 more stress. Now we're suddenly running 20% stress. I suppose if I... I don't know how I feel about this, because I like the HP on the grave robber. But if I dropped these two and ran... Uh, you're talking this. I don't mind the protection. Where is it? Protection would kind of be nice, actually. That. I mean, if I swapped them out like this, gave him the heart with no stress on it, and uh, the signet ring for accuracy, and then ran this, that spreads out the stress nicer. But it does give up. Uh, does give up some stuff. Particularly gives up uh, HP here and 36 seems so low man. I don't know how I feel about 36 HP <sighs> I was liking that There's another one that gives us max HP up here somewhere, right? I think it was, wasn't it was it four? Seven there and six there. I mean, 42 is pretty important. About one shot, right? I, mean, I guess the occultist even has lower HP than she does. This fight tends to be about stress fucking you. This dungeon. What's his accuracy now? We needed a hundred and they had twenty-four uh, dodge, so we needed a hundred and uh, fourteen accuracy. What is the accuracy? We do lose two accuracy doing it this way. What do we get uh, accuracy-wise right now on our attacks? We could slice is at one hundred and fifteen. We need one hundred and fourteen, right? Yeah. Actually, this is still all plenty accurate. That's actually more accurate too. That's interesting. Open vein is more accurate than wicked slice. That's true. Having him in does good a position too. Might want that health to eat the AoEs. It's a good point. I buy that. I like that logic. Alright. Okay. Cool. Our team, what we're bringing. <coughs> right back.
Yeah, protection is not massively valuable, for sure. But uh, I need the accuracy, and that gives me an extra stat in addition to accuracy that I care about and doesn't hurt the dodge, which I actually want here. So, and just one last time. Do we want hard noggins and quick reef? Hard noggin and evasive versus... I mean, starting to be 35 dodge is actually not nothing, especially when we buff it another 10 with unparalleled finesse. When we start being at 45% dodge, the accuracy hits on these bosses are what... I mean, we're not in low light either. I mean, he's 110 to 120% accurate on those. What's the difference between 35 and 30, anything? What about the cultist priest? What's their accuracy? Cultist priest accuracy, because again, not low light. Their accuracy is about 115. I'm at 85 accuracy, 80 other way. I don't know, it could be good. How much do I value 15% damage? Not that much. What's the other highwayman have? Stun resist. Do any of these guys stun? Well, I mean, yes, but... The trash mob stun, but I'm not sure it matters too much if the highwayman gets stunned. And the boss doesn't stun. Do I care? Yeah, Aqua, but sometimes the difference doesn't matter because if they're too accurate, the difference between 30 and 35 might still be zero, like in low light. That's the kind of what I was getting at when I said, does the difference matter? And you don't want to look at it that way anyways, because it's not five, it's the percent chance they're going to hit you. And going from, going from 80%, you know, think about it, like, you know when you're subtracting percentages out of the remainders, if that makes any sense. Like if you go from 20%, if you go from an 80% chance that, or a 20% chance they hit you to a 10% chance they hit you, the number you've changed is 10, but the difference, there's a 50% change in, uh, in the chance, in your chance to get hit, that you're 50% less likely to get hit. So sometimes the number doesn't make quite, doesn't mean quite the same thing, you know? So yeah, we're, we're, we're doing a lot of this today. We're doing this today. Do I care about the dodge? 15%, oh, I do care about minus 15% stress. Okay, we're gonna bring this. This is fine. Okay. Um, these skills, yeah, although I kinda want Holy Lance. I mean, the light till we get there is decent too. We are stunning here. Uh, stab, artillery, I don't want pull. I think I might run stun for now. Base 150, maybe. Let's go to the dungeon already, no. Taking our time. Uh, we gotta turn on skills here. Turn dagger. I will probably run lunge until we get there. Like that, I think. Okay. Alright, here we go. Well, we're not gonna just leave. So we gotta do the rest of the town stuff, but soon. So, everybody gets stress healed if we complete this, and we're going to assume we're going to complete it. Let's take Anemic and Elder Chater. Get that taken care of. Alright, anyone else who is... Uh, Fear of Eldritch needs to go. I think that's the only one, but I was looking for other uh, infected. Alright, Fear of Eldritch and Tough, Precise Striker, Hard Skinned, I don't think we're ever going to use this guy, so I don't think I really care. I'm always surprised that Precise Striker is not about accuracy. 3% uh, crit melee skills on this guy, no. Let's run Hard Skinned. Okay, uh, Stress Healing. We're going to do stress healing, but I'm not sure that afflictions are taken care of. So let's go make sure the affliction is taken care of. All right. No diseases. Let's make sure everybody's stuff is up to date. I think it is at this stage. I don't think I'm going to be using that ability. But I'm so fucking rich, it makes no difference right now. Okay. 
Oh, that's good. Items I care about. I have a bleed resist item there. Do I want it? I don't think so. Okay. Let's grab. Position looks right. <clears throat> skills look right. This guy doesn't have skills enabled. Skills don't look quite right then. Ah, uh, right. Look at slice. Duelist advance. Pistol shot. And I want open vein or. I want open vein. Okay. And let's provision. Bring more food. Only bring eight torches. We'll bring some blood. Bring all the holy waters we can, all of the bandages we can, all of the medicinal herbs we can. I think that's good, right? Okay. Stress you on the first boss, the first fight, and need a map. Need a map of DD1. Okay, where's my map? Okay. There's map. Oh, I didn't go to the map. That went to some. That went to maps in general. No, no, no. Dude, what are these hot links? There's too many hot links in here. Near the flame. Yes. Map, 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 map. There it is. Okay, got it. Good. We're good to go. All right, chat. We're going. First mission. Two hours. Well done. I will waste the blood by not. Whatever. Once again, the stars are right and the manor sits at the very epicenter of cosmic unrest. Cultists rally to their twisted idols, and great gongs sound in anticipation of the coming sacrifices. Far below, life-laden shadows pulse to the unrelenting rhythm of a beating heart. Oh, we get epic music and dancing zombies. We're in, we're in, we're in for some good stuff here. The blood of the fallen flows ever downward along these titan spires. The creature fattens itself on your failures. Damn, I should have made my life easier and turned on one of our other skills for this fight. So I could have just buffed. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Nukes the light. Everyone else dance too. give you zero stress on this. Like, why do I actually have to do it? This dungeon is a lot about stress dealing. Oh, 
farm versus if you're insane. That's the point. I guess if you had, I guess you could reliably farm virtues lit. here. Just having a bump. Oh, abomination can't multi shift though, can he? Strength to follow it. Never mind. It's not quite. It's not quite right. The ground quakes. The big numbers. <sighs> Fucking with my stress healing. What a dick. is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay. Oh, you press skip turn and gain stress to call. Horrors. That would be how you do it. Low and driven into the mud. God, you just skip turn and Oh, I see how I see how easy that would be then. With a single stress healer, just go quad virtuous. We should probably do that one day, just for the shits and giggles of it. Feels really, really abusive, but it's within the rules. <sighs> we just gave him a chance to crit. Ah, we can't kill him with this guy in this position. Coming double crit. Stress. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Okay. I don't think the highwayman trinkets are going to be that useful for that. At all. Okay, I guess I should look at maps and things. So let's go find the maps. There we are. Alright, we got a brawler brawler rapture coming up, okay? Inspiration and improvement. of safety. I gotta just use the holy water on this guy, I think, most fights. Not having bleed resist in the front rank, I'm not entirely sure I love that. As the 
the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. All right. As victories mount, Where so next? too will resistance. Brawler Priest, Witch Rapture, or Brawler Brawler, Witch Witch. Uh, that seems pretty fucking easy. Which of those is going to be easier? Our first torch. Alright. Um. Resource. I am liking the Crusader's plus light abilities. Like, in no run has it ever been useful to me before to have plus light abilities. And it actually has been useful this run because we have the limitations on torches. And that's been fun. 64% uh, chance to hit, 86% chance to hit with the stun. It's 150, is about 75, 77% chance to uh, stun that or something. Which is too bad it didn't, but alright. Their formation is broken. Okay. Maintain the offensive. It is fun having all the uh, abilities to use, too. Not sure I want to change positions here. I definitely don't want to do damage to the zombie, though. It's kind of irritating here. I wish in this scenario I didn't have lunge, but maybe had a. Uh, had uh, poison darts, kind of bad. 68% resist. What's the blight chance? 140. Yeah, it's not even that good though. Yeah, I could do damage here, but I might one shot it. And of course, the crusader went last, so I don't get any way to stop that guard. How do I feel about a class that's size 2? It would be an interesting addition. I don't quite know how that would work, but uh, it would be kind of cool to see. Ooh, we almost killed the zombie. Would have been bad. I went first this round randomly. out of the way. Heal. Heal on himself. Nice. Really want to kill this guy right now. 8 to 14. Okay. Low end did it and didn't bleed him. That's fine. Don't really want him to get another action, but I don't want to kill him either. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Now kill him. kill him. This is his first round alone. To kill him by the end of next round. The wounds of Take our sweet time on this. Healed, but never hidden. Damn, Mr. Stress Yoke is that crit? But oh well. You okay. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Okay, the next fight is three priests. I'm a little worried about the light, I guess. 
Eh, I don't know that it's worthwhile. It's not a very big dungeon. Okay. I mean, compared, I feel like this is just older game design, right? Like, I feel like there's power creep in this game as the expansions have gone by. Cultist priests used to be fucking terrifying. And in part because they were so fast. These guys are speed 7. All the mosquitoes are speed 11. A decisive pummeling. Ringing ears. Blurred vision. The end approaches. Nice hit. So tempting to stress deal this round. I hope someone else goes ahead of him and we might not. Nice to finish down a crit. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Alright, what's the next fight? The next fight is a not here. We have Rapture Brawler Priest Rapture. That seems pretty fucking good. Or Priest Brawler Witch Witch, yeah. Pretty clear which of those is harder. Okay. Is the torch that important? Uh, it reduces stress as I get there. Two, I think two of these characters, if not, at least one of these characters has photomania, uh, photomania which is minus stress per, uh, resist. Okay. Which, by the way, yeah, photomania there, and I think there's another photomania. Yeah. So it is kind of important. through the bleed resist. No, I, I understand what you're saying, Blue. You're saying that I can get Torchlight from camping to reset the, uh, for the boss there. But I'm saying that, uh, I care about the stress leading up to there as well. A little awkward because I only have one stunner. Did not go first. But it guard him and heal him. I think it was crap. Now we have two stunners again. Masterfully executed. Yeah. No, we're not saying the same. Oh, yeah, I am using torches, but I'm trying to still conserve them because I want to have enough blue. If that's what you were saying, then yes. Alright, we get full stress deal out of this. And full light. There's no light penalty to Photomania, but there's no, there's no stress advantage to... Uh, to having it off. It's not like 
there's, there's a downside to not using this, though. Can I grab the bag in the center? Probably. I'll probably do it after the fight. I don't know yet. We'll see. In Radiance, may we find victory. Is restored. Oh, the same time as the last two times we passed through Ascension? Don't do that anyways. I think it was the best I think it was the best fight in terms of uh recovery, right? Precipitates a dizzying fall. All right, what do we got? This room. Which torch do I have? Five. Okay. So then it's in. It's in right. It's chest brawler. Priest, Rapture, Witch. And there is a recovery after that. Yeah, it's actually easier. Okay. That's done. So annoying. Should have taken out uh, bleed resist there as well. Bleed. Kind of want to heal, kind of want to stun. Let's try to kill this guy. Good, heals himself. It's excellent for me. Need to worry about this stress now. done here. I actually thought he was guarding. I meant double stun in the sense of uh, expecting to stun through the wall, not the heal. Not really stunnable again for us. Heal. I need a couple more rounds with this. Kind of a 
annoyed about these bleeds on him. It's annoying. Ordering is particularly annoying. here. And I do need some regular healing there. Round nine to kill this guy before stress. The wounds of war can be healed, okay. but never hidden. I spent a lot of time on the items. You can watch as I switch between them. It's not like they're invisible, but I don't think we're going to talk about them specifically. End of round nine. Right. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Have two more attacks to kill him with. Alright. Okay. Looks good. This expedition at least promises success. You guys remember gold? It's been so I literally looked at that, I'm like, what is this shit in my inventory? Alright. Um Growth Priest Witch Rapture next. Stress, huh? It's too bad. You need to take care of that. Gotta get this off so I can kill him. is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. I think I'm okay starting the damage on this guy. He's pretty bleed resistant. Maybe we can debuff his bleed resist down to, his, uh, to uh, a reasonable number. Unfortunately, he's... Oh, that's not. That's the bleed one. Daze is the stun, but he's... Cultists are very vulnerable at being stunned. It's not a lot I can do about that either. Alright, I'm getting ready to kill these about now. No! No flesh wall! Of course, it's gonna be a crit now, and I'm gonna lose all that uh, stuff I did. Oh, I can't stun him off now. Well, yeah. okay. It's good. Take the 
end of round eight to kill this guy. Purchase. Spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. End of round eight. Okay. Nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. All right. My standard play now is to walk into the priest, the three priests, then walk back, then camp. So I think we're going to do that again. They can cause a lot of stress. Fuck your resist, man. For a 70% chance of stunning, or 77% chance of stunning, we've been resisted like four or five times. It's really, really obnoxious. And again, right? This is 150 minus 73. That's a 77 there. And this one's like a, we're at 180 minus 73. Wait, what? We're at 180? 160. Minus 73. Still really good numbers. Like, why the fuck are we getting so unlucky with that? Yeah. After missing it twice to stun, I was pretty impressed by that. I'm gonna eat another face reveal. Blah. And they all go ahead of us this round, randomly. Alright. Guess we'll eat all the stress nukes. Eradicated. Finally, a stun landed. It's amazing. I don't want to accidentally kill him. Next. God damn it. Oh, we just got stress for stalling because of that miss. Sucks. Yeah. All right, let's go camp. But a victory nonetheless. I guess I could be really greedy about the, <clears throat> the stress here. camping skills on <clears throat> that I don't have. I don't think so. Ah, uh, what are we running? We're gonna run Bandit Scent. No, Bandit Scent. Unparalleled Finesse for four. 
Wouldn't mind dark strength, but I'm not hugely relevant to that. Zealous speech for nine. Who's this three? An unshakable leader. With all stress buffs. Do you have anything else we really care about? No. Alright. I have both those on, right? Okay. Bandit scent? No, it's sense. Huddled together. Furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. items on. Well, when we walk down the corridor anyways. We're going to change up a couple of skills too. Alright, so it was handkerchief. Signet ring. Junia's head. Alright, skill wise we need to drop uh, it's Byron Cry can spot heal. I guess we can drop the stun and pick up Holy Lance. Considering dropping this one too. Alright. We're gonna drop the stun. I don't think I can realistically cast debuffs right now. So I don't think I'm dropping anything. I think that's fine. Uh, do we want tracking shot? Kind of? I don't think I want wicked. Well, wicked slice could maybe kill something in the end. I think we're going to drop that for tracking shot. Depends how many rounds it goes, I guess. And. Lunge is fine. Thrown dagger is fine. I don't think Shadow Fade is all that useful here. I fucking hate that plus 29 speed on there. It's a way to get this character killed. Maybe I do want that. And we have bleed and blight cures already. And if I'm just trying to stack dodge, let's just stack dodge. Okay. Kind of good. All right. Maybe it should just be lunging every time it's available. Since I'm gonna get shuffled all the time. Maybe it should have been a heal. Is there, is there a sense in buffing right now? Exposed to a killing blow. All right, let's be greedy and buff. Cult is failing me at the critical moments, of course. As the cultists are prone to do. Let's get rid of this debuff. Let's go ahead and lunge. 
Yeah, so not worth the buff on the high, the high woman. It's so tempting to use it. You're like, oh, it could be really good. But it never is. Let's get rid of this bleed. Take the holy water. Not getting very lucky on these rolls here. Lunge in there. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Left this guy. Just took my stun off. Still, stun seems pretty good here. Bet. Easy. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the line? Not bad. Not bad. Okay. It's DD1. Excellent. You have merely glimpsed the edge of the abyss. Scroll is better than 